Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm April May Walston and today I'm painting this lotus flower, so stay tuned. So I'm starting on a rock that I've painted black for the base coat. I made this rock out of cement and now I'm just drawing in the design for the lotus flower. You can find any of these designs on Pinterest or on Google. They're pretty easy to draw in. I'm using a charcoal pencil. This will allow me to wash the design off uh, with water once I've painted all in. If I have any sketch marks left over, I can go ahead and, and uh, erase those. I was having some issues with some wires, I think. So now that I've got the design all painted in, or drawn in, now we're going to go with the paint. The paint colors I used was a magenta, a light pink, a blue, and a turquoise. And it's going to, because a lot of the paints that I used were more translucent, I had to do several layers. I'm starting with the tips, and what I'm doing is just getting kind of my base coat in, and then there will be some blending done later on. But you can see as I put it on there, you can't see it very well. One way to conquer that is to add a little bit of white to it. I'm going ahead and putting all my colors in. So I had magenta, a bubblegum pink, blue, and a green, uh, which was thalo green, that when you add thalo green and thalo blue together and then add white, you get a beautiful turquoise. And I'm just adding the pink and I'm going to be going back and forth adding layers. I have to let it dry because I am doing, using acrylic. Um, I'm using Li Liquitex Basics as the paints I usually use. Um, if you don't let acrylics dry completely before going back over them, you will lift the paint off of the off the surface. So it's really important to let them dry completely. Some of your less expensive paints, even once they dry, will still lift. So you, you have to kind of work around that. It can be kind of a headache. The Liquitex Basics are a student grade, so they're cheaper, but they have a very good light fast rating, and they're really good. Uh, they're a really good paint that for not very much money. Now, now I've made the turquoise and my camera just doesn't pick these colors up very well but if you look at the the photo in the beginning those are the kind of the actual colors of the rock I I need to upgrade my equipment and just you know starving artist and all I can't afford to do it so we'll just make the best of, of it you can you can tell what I'm doing the colors just aren't that accurate especially in the blue and purple range this, my camera does not do well photographing those or videoing those. Now I'm not done, but I'm going to go in and I'm lining what, what you call trapping the design. Um, it's just going to make it pop. I really like to trap my designs. You'll see me do it a lot. I learned this technique through uh, doing window splashes, which is where you paint, you know, a character or scene or something on a window temporarily, and uh, a lot of those designs are trapped in black. And I kind of fell in love with it when I was doing that. So again, I'm just back and forth with these colors. I'm going to go with the magenta, the pink, the uh, blue, and then the turquoise. I guess it was a purple and then a turquoise. It wasn't blue, it was purple, sorry. I 
and as I build layers it's going to be easier for me to blend with my blending technique because I, I do a um, it's more like a stain or um, oh gosh why can't I think of the word um, <laughs> like all of a sudden my brain just shut down um, oh my gosh I can't even think of what it is the word I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. It'll come to me. It will. Um, I don't know what's going on. I, I need coffee or, or a nap or something. Um, but basically I thin, it, I thin it down with water and I go over it with a glaze. That's the word I'm looking for. Like a glaze. Um, or a stain. And I do that a lot in on my rocks and on my canvases. I've been doing that for many years. It's a really good tech technique for blending. So you can see I'm just going back and forth with these three or four different colors, building it up. And a lot of times, if you just were to paint this and stop right now, it would look good. But the thing with acrylics is the, the light shines through the different layers and reflects and bounces back and forth. And it creates depth within your layers. And so if you want to take your paintings kind of up a notch, whether they're on rock or on canvas or anything, work in layers. You're, you'll really start to see a difference um, in how your technique starts to advance when you start painting in layers and how good it looks. A lot of times new artists, they just, they just call it finished before it should really be finished. So if you add a couple more layers, keep working at it, you'll see, you'll, you'll start taking your, um, your progress up a notch. Um, does take longer. And sometimes people are impatient. I get impatient too. Uh, but it's well worth it. Cleaning up the outer edges with some black. And I use the Createx airbrush opaque black. Then I'm going to tidy out my lines. And then I'm going to go over it with a mica powder, starting with a pink, uh, then a purple, then a blue, and then a turquoise. And I'm going to add all of those colors to each one of the leaves, and it's going to cause it to sparkle. And you'll see I'm going to be doing that here. Um, they look white, but when you put them on there, that's when the color, the actual color starts to pop and show through. Um, you could use shell powder or nail powder. Uh, I am using a mica powder. And it doesn't show up very well on film, but when you go in and put a glaze over this, you know, like a, a sealant, I use a triple thick, or if you used a resin, it really makes uh, that shimmer shine you know you just really can't see it very well on camera and then that powder kind of gets everywhere so I'm going and cleaning up the edges again and then I'm also going to retrap the black um, and again I use a Createx airbrush paint because it's thinner but it's very black it's very opaque and it it works perfect for doing these outlines. And there we go. It's all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit like and subscribe and share it with anybody else that you think would enjoy seeing this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.